Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. It's your friendly neighborhood of Farmer Raznak. We're going to do a quick, a short, a super fast video because it's been requested of me to do so. So a lot of people, when they watch my collectible videos, they're like, Raznak, how do you get all those little icons to show up on the map? And that is a console command called GS Collectibles Show All. Well, it's easier said than done because you have to do a few different things to get those console commands to show up. So I'm going to show you how to enable the dev console console. And I'm also going to show you how to enable cheats on PC because you have to have both of those working in order to do that. And it's a two step process. And once you get those two steps completed, you will be able to cheat and edit and command and do anything you want in the game uh, is, is just type it out. It's just wonderful, wonderful magic. So the first thing you need to do is enable dev commands. OK, so in order to enable the dev commands, what you're going to do is you're going to find your game directory. For me, it is. And for most people, I play on PC. I don't play with Steam. I'll show you how to do this on Steam also. But as right now, I'm just going to show you if you have the PC version direct from Giants. So you're going to go to Documents. You're going to go to My Games. You're going to go to Farming Simulator 22. So once you find your game directory, you're going to go all the way down here. And it says Game XML Document right there. What you're going to do is you're going to right click. Oh, try that again. You're going to right click. And then you're going to edit. Now you can edit with Notepad++ or you can edit with just a regular Notepad. I like Notepad++ just because I've gotten used to it and it has different colors and it makes things, seeing things much, much easier. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go all the way down to line number 37. Line number 37, it says development controls. What you're going to do is you're going to take this false and you're going to change that to true just like that true now that's all you want to do in here don't mess with anything else don't change anything else don't add anything else because these are the xml game files and you can ruin your game so be very very careful when you begin editing xml so once we have controls set to true we're going to go ahead and hit save and we're going to close that program and that part is finished game xml has been updated to enable dev controls and what that does is when we hit that little tilde key it's the button right next to your number one uh number one on your keyboard not your numer pad but on your keyboard right below the escape button there is the tilde key that weird shaped key that's called tilde you're going to hit that in game and open up your dev console and i will show you that in just one second also what you need to do is enable cheat. So what you got to do, find your Farming Simulator 22 shortcut for PC right here all by itself. What you're going to do is you're going to right click on it. You're going to go to properties. We're going to pull this into the middle. And what you're going to see is your target line right here. It's going to say Farming Simulator 22, Farming Simulator 22.exe, blah, blah, blah. Behind that, what you're going to put is you're going to do space mark. You're going to do dash. You're going to do cheats just like so. You're going to hit apply and you're going to click OK. And it's done. That's it. That's all you have to do for that. Now, say you're playing on Steam. Well, give me just one second. I'll pull up Steam and I'll show you how to do it on Steam. It's very similar. And just give me one second. All right, I don't have farming simulator through Steam, so I can't show you exactly how to do it, but it, it works the exact same way. OK, so what you're going to do in your library, you're going to find your farming simulator 22 game. We're going to pretend American Truck Sim is farming simulator 22. You're going to right click. You're going to click on properties down here at the very bottom. You're going to see this thing called launch options. Advanced users may choose to enter modification to launch their options. You're what you're going to put in is you're going to put in dash cheats and that's and then you're going to close just like so because next time we go into properties look it's right there dash cheats and that will do the same thing that for steam users 
as it will for just standard PC users. Now, let's see if this is working, right? It's like, Raz, you told us to do all this stuff and it, and it should be working, should be working. So we're just gonna double click our good old Farming Simulator 22 here. Anytime now, game, anytime. Good play, there we go. Loading up right now and We'll skip to the menu. And if I hit that tilde key, looky there, I've got this nice little overlay screen that shows up on the top. We hit the tilde key, you get that overlay screen. So let's go ahead and pull up a save game. Let's see if I have an empty slot. We'll go new farmer. Let's just go with Elm Creek because we don't want any mods installed, nothing. We don't need any mods because we can command the game to do what we want. Yes, we can. And again, there are a lot of these videos out here that show you how to do it, but I've been asked specifically numerous times, how do I get the icons to show up on the map? So this is what that video is for. But you also can use it for all kinds of other commands like adding money, flying around, turning off your HUD, spawning bales, set, I mean, there's a huge, huge list. And in fact, in the description, I have put a link to a great, great article on a website that shows you the exact steps that I'm telling you here. And it also shows you all the commands, all of them, both the cheat commands and the regular dev console commands. So it's a great, great article. Let's hit start. I'm gonna go with our standard and no, and okay. So like you said right here, if I go ahead and hit this and I hit the tilt key twice, you see there's a little cursor up there. So what I'm going to do is hit GS C O L and I'm just going to hit tab to autofill and looky there GS collectibles show all we're going to hit that and it's going to say console command GS collectibles show all. And then if we go to our map, now you can see all the little yellow dots where you can find all the collectibles. Now again, this only works on PC, sorry console players, but you're gonna have to watch my videos and do it the old fashioned way, but that's what your friend Raz is here for. But yeah, you can see all these little dots that show all the collectibles, and if you want to turn those off, I don't know if it turns them off, let's see. No, it does not turn them off. Uh, once you exit the game and come back in, you'll have to show it again. So like once you save and leave, and you come back, those collectible icons will be gone. So you'll have to do that each time. Say say you want to make some money. So you just do GS add or uh, GS money add. And you know, say we want 999.99 millions. Oop, look at that. Look at our money. Just like that, we can add all kinds of money. There are all kinds of commands. Player, player flight mode. Go turn that to true and now we can fly around so i'm not going to go through all the different commands but hopefully that helps you get those turned on because again you have to enable the dev console and you also have to enable cheats you have to enable both of those items both of those items so just to cut this we'll go ahead and quit our game here and i was going to tell you one more thing that i have found out in my journey right here this where we enable cheats right if you go down and you start this is where you should start your game is from your shortcut if you go and start your game from say the app it may not work i've had problems where the cheats don't enable uh using just like the base game launching app uh or uh, we can actually, we'll, we'll actually try this real quick. To, to test my theory. Um, because I've had, if I, if I don't use that shortcut where I have the cheats, or if I launch it from somewhere other than Steam, because you as Steam users, you want that command to be initialized that says cheats enabled. Uh, that also lets you run really fast and you can't turn that off. So if you have cheats on, you're gonna run very fast. It doesn't matter, uh, doesn't matter what you do. So yes, as you can see, GS collectibles is not enabled because I launched the game not through the shortcut. So if you're running into problems where it's not working, you need to launch 
the cheats through the shortcut that you have put the cheats on, if that makes sense. You don't want to launch it from taskbar. You don't want to launch it from your from here. You want to launch it from the modified shortcut that you have right here. All right. And that's it. That's all you have to do. If you have any questions, please feel free to shoot me a message in the comments. I hope this does help you in your collectibles journey and other journeys. And again, like I said, there if there's tons of people who talk about dev consoles and what they do and who to use them. Farmer Client's a great one. Farmer Cop's a great one. Uh, there's all different kinds of tutorial videos out there, but I have been asked many, many times, how do I do that? How do I get those little map icons to show up? And that's it. That's how you do it. Until next time, stay safe. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye bye.